let's talk about proportions here. So what we're going to do here is uh, I want you to go ahead and uh, in your notebook or whatever you're using here as you're watching this is I want to want you to um, go ahead and create a graphic organizer for proportion. Okay, you can use your online book. You can find it shared with you in uh, your Google Docs. You can run a Google search for it. I just want you to fill it out and um, don't do it word for word. Don't don't just take the definition directly from. Try to read it. Put it in your own words. It doesn't have to be real long. In fact, the shorter the better is um, usually the the case. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you put in a, an example, a picture, or these the, the characteristics of it, and. Um, Go ahead, do that, and pause the video, and then when you're done, go ahead and hit play. Okay, make sure that you um, bring that with you to class tomorrow. This is a pretty important topic, so we're going to talk a lot about proportional relationships, what they look like, what happens if we graph them, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So let's actually, we're going to look at some proportions right now. Um, hopefully you realize that there are two equal ratios. Okay, it's when they follow the same sort of pattern. And uh, we've been dealing with them actually a lot. When we did uh, unit rates, if you find, you know, like how much one pound of uh, meat costs at the deli counter, you can figure out how much two pounds or costs or three pounds or four pounds. And so you did a little bit of this already when you did some of your rate problems on Khan Academy and actually on your uh, worksheet we did before. So, well, let's take a look at this. What might this li look like on a graph? Okay, so <clears throat> what I've got here is I've got an, um, this idea of I've got hours worked and money earned. Okay, and what we're going to look to see here is if this is a proportional relationship. And so it's got to follow a pattern. There's got to be a consistent rate of change to this. And so what we'll do is we'll graph it. And if it is a if it ends up being a straight line and it starts at the origin, then we can call it a proportion. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to start with a graph and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to draw in some lines here and I'm going to graph this out and we'll put that in there and we'll draw one horizontally as well. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to label this. Okay, we need to label which one is hours worked and which one is money earned. Okay, well in this case the hours are changing, right? And then the the money changes afterwards, okay? So we can say that this is sort of the independent variable and this is the dependent variable, right? When this one depends on how many hours we work. Plus, anytime you really see time involved in any of these, you can almost guarantee, not always, but almost guarantee that it's going to fall on the x-axis, right? So if you look at this, this is kind of like a timeline. So you're almost always going to have time, right? go this way, all right? Think if you think of timeline, think of social studies, something like that. And then money, you're almost always going to have on the y-axis because money is sort of going to depend on all types of other things. You know, how many hours you work, maybe how many jobs you do, how much stuff you sell. That's going to depend on whatever it is you're doing. Plus money, you can think of, it typically your money rate rises and falls depending on, you know, if you earn a lot of money, it goes up, and if you're spending a lot of money, it goes down, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's go, I'm gonna say every, we'll label this and we'll put in hours worked. Okay, and you're going to need to make sure that you bring graph paper with you because we're going to do some more of this idea. We're going to graph some more stuff. We're going to do some of it on Khan Academy too, but we really need to sort of practice um, doing this stuff um, <clears throat> on graph paper, making sure you know what it looks like. Okay, and then on sideways here, I'm going to do, we'll put in dollars, dollars earned. Okay, put that sideways. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go put... Uh, go through here. Now, um, I'm going to put in one hour because we're only going up to five and I've got all these squares. In fact, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so seventeen. Um, if I went back here, that's fifteen. Okay, I can use that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go maybe every three here, I'll make uh, one. So one, two, Make that one, and then two, we'll make that two, and we'll make that three, and we'll make that four, and we'll make that. Mm, I went too far. Let's see. One, two, three, four, 
five. Okay, and then up here, what I'm going to do is let's see. I'm going to have to go up to forty. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So twelve. What I'm going to do is about. Uh, we'll do. Let's see, if I do them by twos, I'm not going to have enough. So let's go by four. So we'll call this $4 and $8. And that makes sense because these are all multiples of four also. 8, 12, uh, 16, 20, 24, 28, uh, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. And so you can see this is helpful because I know my multiplication tables. So you can see how this falls in right away. Okay, now let's go. What we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, hours worked. Okay, so if I work one hour, I get paid $8. So one and eight, put a dot there. If I work two hours, I'm going to make $16. Put it in here. If I work three hours, I'm going to make $24. If I work four hours, I'm going to make 32. And if I will make five hours, I'm going to go up four. I'm going to make forty dollars. So that's 32, 40. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. Um, and so hold on a second here. Okay. I had to go get a ruler. So you can't actually see me use the ruler here, but I'm going to put it across here. And I'm going to connect all my lines here. And so we'll draw it in here. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. Okay? And it goes on. So it's not it's not perfect, okay? It's not, it doesn't go exactly through everything. In fact, it goes away a little bit here, but it gives us the general idea. And what I really want to say is, okay, what happens if I don't work at all? Am I going to earn any money? Well, as you can look, for every one hour you work, it goes up eight, right? So over, if I go over one here, I go up eight, okay? If I go over to two, right, that's over one more hour, I go up another eight. If I go work another hour, I make another $8 and another, okay? So what we can do is we can kind of back it up. So if I'm at two hours, right, and I go back one hour, I should lose $8. Yep, that makes sense. And so if I go back another hour like this, I'm going to lose another $8. I'm going to be at zero. So what I can do is I can say, well, you know what? If I have zero hours, then I'm going to make zero money, which should make sense. It just means I don't start with anything. Okay, well, because this line, right, you can see it's a straight line, okay, it's a straight line, it starts at zero, zero, and so what happens here is for every hour I work, my money goes up $8. Therefore, this is a proportional relationship. This is a proportion, okay? For every one here, it goes up eight. So if I wanted to make, using this idea here, because it goes over one and up eight, what I can do is I can write this as a unit rate, okay? I can say I make eight dollars an hour okay or sometimes you might see eight dollars per hour okay and that's what's happening here and it's that's the relationship or the proportional relationship for every hour I work I make another eight dollars so here's a unit rate okay you can see how the unit rate sort of flows along this graph and we use this unit rate, we can use it to say, okay, well, if I work five hours, I make 40. Well, what would happen if I made 10, right? And we can use the graph to sort of see, well, if I made five is 40, then 10 would be twice that amount, right? So then the amount of money I should make should be twice. So it should be 80. You could even say, okay, well, if it's $8 per hour, we could write it as a, as a ratio, right? We could say, okay, $8 for one hour is equal to how much money in 10 hours? Well, 1 to 10 is times 10, so I'm going to take 8 and multiply it by 10, and I get 80. Okay? So this is kind of how this works, sort of what's going on here. All right, well, let's take a look. Let's say I have a graph, and I want to know, well, what is the sort of rate of change here? What is, how does this thing change or move along? What is, this, what is the proportion, okay? And what's the unit rate? All these ideas are going to come together here. Well, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this idea, okay? This along the side here is the uh, money earned. Uh, I don't think I labeled that, so let me put that in here. Money earned. 
Okay, and then on the bottom we have hours worked. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to populate or we're going to fill in this here. Okay, so let's see what I have right now. Well, I know this is two and twenty-four, so let's put that in. Two hours is twenty-four dollars. Okay, and then let's see. I have another one at four and forty-eight. Four and forty-eight. Okay. 10, I don't have another one, so let's see, let's fill in these other ones, let's see, uh, what's this top one up here, this looks like it's, well, if this is, let's see, 2, and that's 4, then in between, every one of these must be 1, right, it must go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so then I've got, let's see, this one is 48, that matches at 4, this one is $60, so let's put that in, let's put in 60 dollars and that's going to be at five hours worth of work okay and let's see this other one we didn't get was this one this is 36 and that's three hours of work so we can put that in 36 and this other one is one hour it looks like and twelve dollars so one and twelve okay now does it start starts at the origin yes is it a straight line yes for every hour that I work, does it go up 12, right? So it looks like it does, right? It looks like it says $12 for every one hour. Well, let's check it, okay? So if 12 over 12, uh, over one, right? And move one hour, I should be at 12. And then if I go over another hour, I should go up another 12. That makes sense. And then if I work another hour, I should make another $12, okay? That works. Work another hour. I should work make another twelve dollars. If I make an, work another hour, I make another twelve dollars, and on and on and on. Okay. And so what I end up finding out here is that my rate is twelve dollars an hour, and then I can use this to form all kinds of proportions. So what happens if I work eight hours? Okay. If I work eight hours, what's going to happen here? Well, eight times 1, okay, I'm going to do 8 times 12 then, okay, 12 times 8 is, uh, let's see, what is that, 96, so I would make $96, and that's another one we could probably find on the graph, it's not going to quite work there, not going to quite get there on this graph, but some of the other ones you make, you will get to that point, um, okay, so that's another idea, and then what happens, let's say do this, what happens if we work, let's say you work, uh, three and a half hours. Let's do that. What happens if I work three and a half hours? Okay, well, I could either do 12 times three and a half, or what I could do is I could look on the graph. Let's try this. If I'm at three, okay, that's 12, 24, okay, oh, sorry, that's three, so then I should go to three and a half, and let's see, this comes kind of come up here, and it looks like Right? This looks like it's about, this would be three, and this is four, so that's about halfway. Well, let's figure out where does that hit upon here. Well, halfway between 36 and 48. This goes up by 12, so this one must go up by six, so I end up with $42. And if you if you do 12 times three and a half, you're actually going to see you do end up making $42, okay? Because we know... 12 times 12 times 3 is 36 and then what's half of 12 that would be another that would be 6 so we add it on top of that so that gives me 42 okay just some more ideas trying to piece this all together let's take a look at another one here we have hours walked and I want to know the number of miles that I've walked that go with it. So let's go ahead. Now this is where we're going to start having some fractions. Okay, so here we have 0 comma 0. This looks like it's a proportional relationship. It's a proportion because it keeps moving on and on and on. Okay, and what I did is I put a graph 1 and then I put 2. And so let's see, each one of these, so then 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means this here would be 1 fourth and this would be two-fourths, and three-fourths, and four-fourths, which would be one whole. So let's see, let's see, and then um, the miles walked, this is one, so this would be one-half, and then one, one-and-a-half, two, two-and-a-half, three, three-and-a-half, four, four-and-a-half, five, and on. So what we can do is, let's see, if I walk, let's see, for one-quarter of an hour, I'm going to walk one-half a mile. 
So then let's do this. What if I walk two quarters of a two quarters? I walk one mile. And if I walk three fourths, that's here, I would walk one and a half miles. And if I walk one mile, I'm sorry, if I walk for one hour, I'm going to walk two miles. Okay? So, what we're looking to look here is what is the, how does this change? What is the miles per hour? Okay? So, miles per hour. Well, what we can do here is we can look. Well, this is one. This means per hour, right? For each one hour, right? This first dot is in a quarter hour, I want a half mile. So it'd be like in 15 minutes. This would be in like a half an hour, you travel one mile. In three quarters of an hour, like 45 minutes, you travel one and a half. And after one mile, you travel two, or I'm sorry, after one hour, you travel two miles. So if I'm going to look at this, I can say two miles in one hour. Well, let's see what that looks like at the beginning, okay? Hours here, it's one half of a mile in one fourth of an hour, okay? These end up being the same idea. This is a proportional relationship. And it's okay, we can have fractions here, okay? Because this one quarter hour, we're just going, instead of making it bigger, we're making it smaller, right? We're taking one hour and we're breaking it into four pieces. So if I take two miles, I'm going to break that into four pieces as well. Good? Hopefully you guys have a general understanding of that. Um, you know, if you don't, bring some questions, write something, you know, write what you're having a hard time with, bring it to class. Again, we'll do a little bit more talk about this in class. We'll do um, talk about how we know what a proportion looks like. Um, if you did, um, well, let's do this. Let's take a look at the actual, <clears throat> um, this is my graphic organizer that I filled out, okay? So my definition is I wrote that a uh, proportion is two equal ratios. I said that a proportion will look like a straight line on a graph. It will go through the origin. My example is if I travel 30 miles in one hour, then I will travel 90 miles in three hours. And you can see that I've written it down here, okay? That's my... Um, proportion. And then a non-example would be something where there's not equal ratios, right? If I make $10 an hour, that's not the same as making $30 in four hours. Those are two separate things. Okay, hopefully you uh, there was a little understanding here, or you have some good questions to bring to class, and I will see you tomorrow.